Hello, hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to group and ungroup specific rows with one click with um, Macro VBA. So it's actually derived from a question in one of my video, how to group and ungroup rows with one click. So I showed you here um, the macro codes for it. So one of the questions I had was that while well, those are already um, pre-grouped or ungrouped, as you can see from this code, this is a code. What if I don't have those rows pre-grouped and I want to group them with VBA? So um, I think that's a really good question and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so this is the um, previous one. As you can see, the rows are already grouped or ungrouped in Excel. So I'm going to have another sheet that here you see like the rows are not grouped, but then I want them to be grouped or ungrouped the same way. So for example, um, I want to be, to be when I click this, my 7 to 14 rows will be grouped, uh, 18 to 23 will be grouped, 27 to 28 will be grouped. And then when I click ungroup, they will be ungrouped. So the same as usual, um, I, um, I will just show you the codes directly um, and uh, you will be able to copy and paste them after I uh, watching how I explain them in the video um, and they will be in the description for you to copy and paste. Okay, so let's get started. So this is where I get the codes. Um, you can also get here by uh, Outro and F11. This is how you get here. Um, the first two are the ones that we used for the rows that's already pre-grouped or uh, grouped. So for the ones that we don't have them, um, it's those two macros and we actually have to Manu uh, uh, manually specify the rows that we want to group or ungroup in our macro. So let's work on the group one first. So this one, as you can see, um, in my code, I added those three two rows. And they actually are saying, well, um, for my active sheets, you need to group row 7 to 14, 18 to 23, and 27 to 28. And then after you group them, you can actually um, you can actually uh, group them. So now for this one, if I run it, it's going to show like this. Okay. Right? Um, okay. So now with this, I want to ungroup them. So when you ungroup them, just make sure that your logic will flow correctly. And by that, I mean, actually for this one, you need to first show all the rows first which means that you need to ungroup your groups first and then you ungroup your rows. Like the logic has to flow like this. Um, if you do the ungroup first, um, it's not going to show you all the rows after you run the VBA. Um, all those rows will be ungrouped, but they will be hidden. So with this, now let's run it. And then you can see this spreadsheet is actually back to the original format. So this is how those two macros um, can function. And then my last step is that actually I have, you see I have two um, bottoms here. I just need to make sure because uh, I now have two new macro codes. I just need to make sure they are assigned to the correct macro. So I go right click assign. Um, it was uh, assigned to the group all um, macro. Now I need to go to group specific row macro. And then the same for my ungroup one, I need to go to ungroup specific row. And then now let's click it. Now it's perfectly grouped for all the specific rows. Um, you do for the ungrouping, it's exactly the same. And then the way that the code is set up here, as you can see, you can literally specify any rows that you want to group. They don't have to be um, like sequential, it can be seven and then 18 to 20 and then 27. It can be basically whichever rows that you choose to specify to group. Okay, so this is everything I want to share with you today and I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.